Stefan Bradel, a fellow MotoGP rider, expressed deep admiration and respect for Marc Marquez, acknowledging his vulnerabilities and the challenges he faces with his bike. Bradel emphasized his understanding of Marquez's weak points, showcasing a level of insight and empathy toward the multiple MotoGP champions' ongoing struggles on the track. So in this video, we're going to discuss Race Secret Unveiled. Bradel exposes Marquez's surprising weakness. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. But the German hopes Marquez, who suffered five falls at the Sassin ring before withdrawing from the race, will take controllable risk at Assen this weekend. Bradel's teammate, Takaki Nakagami, was the only Honda rider to make the German Grand Prix grid, with Marquez joining Rins and Joanne Mir on the sidelines. Rins has undergone a second operation on the complicated leg fractures he suffered in Mugello Thursday. I wish a speedy recovery to Alex, I think he's under the knife more or less right now, so hope everything goes well and he can recover," said Bradel. We'll try to do our best in the meantime, and we all know that the situation is not going to be easy. All we can do is try to stay calm, do our job in trying to stay healthy. On Marquez's crash-strewn Sajan Ring weekend, Bradel said, a lot of respect because he's still giving his 100% even more, even though he realizes that the bike and the tools he has are not ready for that level. But he's trying, you know. I hope that he can stay healthy and he's good to ride this weekend and his approach is going to be the same probably. We'll not change an 8-time world champion in terms of how he has to ride the bike. Maybe the circuit is going to be a little bit better, but realistically speaking, it's going to be hard to fight for the podium. In the meantime, I can't give him advice, but I would like to take controllable risk. While Marquez suffered range of accidents in Germany, the final warm-up incident which left him with a finger fracture was a type of high side rarely seen in modern MotoGP. Bradel said he had worked on electronic changes in a recent test to try and mitigate a repeat but believes the root cause is a chronic lack of rear grip which, like a lack of front-end confidence, will take time to solve. I haven't been riding the bike since the Monday test in Jerez, so I jumped on the bike in Misano and after 3-4 to four laps I realized the weaknesses of the bike, that in lean angle we're not feeling confident at all. We need to push on the front and everything we're doing is not coming natural. We've played around with electronics to help prevent the high sides, but it's not the electronics in my opinion that are holding us back. What we all need is much more grip on the rear tire in all areas. Before we move on, support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Now let's get back to our topic. Honda is set to showcase a rejuvenated quartet of riders this weekend at the Motul TT Asin, with the news already confirmed that Iker Lekona will step in for the injured Joanne Mir, as Marc Marquez's teammate on the Repsol Honda team, LCR, have followed suit by announcing that Stefan Bradel will take the place of the recovering Alex Rins in the team. This sees Bradel, the HRC test rider, return to the team where he began his journey in the MotoGP World Championship. The German is a very capable substitute, having already made two Grand Prix appearances this year. While he has been a regular step in over the past few seasons, the team itself made the announcement of at the revered Cathedral of Speed and express their heartfelt wishes for Rinz's swift recovery. So that's it. Please like, share, and comment with your thoughts below if you like this video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe, and we'll be back soon with another video just for you guys.